imagine being asked to replace Guardian on that team. That would be insane. And now we're about to see whether he can live up to it on the server as well. Yeah, it'll be a Team Heaton start on the CT side. They've started T-side both maps in the previous games, but now a defensive end will be much better for it. But Forrest has found his kill. P250 and Neo as well finding a secondary. They don't clear for Palm though, and nobody's looking at all! Finally, Aye. Balcony will suss things out, but four on two in a post plant. Now Heaton looking for worse for wear. Yeah, this is looking really rough. Immediate burst plant positions as well. Team Neo is not messing about. Grass taking the peak upwards as well. Forrest, gotta be careful. Tutson will find Grass, take him down. All of Meister in from the back line. Someone who, honestly, we didn't even get that much of a chance to talk about because we were so obsessed with the oldies. But I am very excited to see the Olaf Meister Freiburg entry duo if that is something that ends up coming in. Yeah, both, both ideal roles for them. I don't know if we'll. If if they take it as seriously as that, you know, building structure, how dare you? I just want them to go in first. <laughs> yeah. And could very well see it. Mac 10s are oh. out, and the B bomb site going to be bombarded with utility, but nobody's home. Listen, you're saying they're not taking it seriously when they've got reads like this, Michael? They've got they they've gone and done their anti stratting. I can't believe that. They didn't Oof. stack in the last Mirage, did they? I don't think they did. <laughs> how did they know? Yeah. They've been watching pugs. They've been watching pugs. Come on, Forrest. No smokes down. You've got a Mac 10. They've got no armor. Gotta go hunting. Farm one. Able to find the one at the very least, if nothing else. Tudson is the one who has gone on, on a hunting expedition. Finds Palm one. There's a Mac 10 rushing in. Thank you. Of course, Tudson is stealing away those kills, nonetheless. But Forrest and Olaf Meister to quickly shut them down. Dennis, the only one left. And he's really hoping that he can... Maybe avoid the fury of the tech of the Mac 10, and at least he does that. Yeah, here's the thing. We, you know, you can hype up players for being good pistol players, and frequently when I have done that in the past, they just haven't got many <laughs> pistol kills. Um, Dennis has gotten a lot of pistol kills so far today. Whether it's been Deegs, USPs. I mean, that time was a was a buy. You wouldn't expect him to have much, much success, but certainly found it. Good mitigation of damage. Not all falling victim to, to Mac 10s was ideal so that Neo don't run away with the cash. One of the hardest parts, I think, for Heaton in these games has been when they have been losing rounds, they've been losing rounds consecutively and pretty convincingly as well. So even when they do decide to answer back and, and do have a bit more success, they have to combat buy after buy after buy. So keeping Neo at least humbled in the economy would be ideal. Opener for Palm 1. That's Forrest out of the equation, and Neo creeps past the smoke, trying to capitalize, and Dennis covers! Oh. Now, they do have a couple of rifles recovered, maybe. Maybe Dennis now on the AK with the first bullet instead can do something, but it does look like the CT side might be up for saving as well. Hayden does want to push through, see if he can get some frags, but... I wouldn't hate a save over here, just make sure you've got an extra weapon or two in the next round, but at the same time, is that really living up to the spirit of a show match? Show match with money on the line. So. That is true. Yeah, of choosing course. their moments, not really going for this. If somebody had overpushed on Neo, then maybe there was a way they incentivize it, but he just gets one on the exit. Dennis as well, trying to see if he gets anyone in transit, but won't protect Eaton from the pursuit. That's a full full of Meister. Also hits the deck, so Dennis keeps hold of his weapon, but another round won by Team Neo nonetheless. Of course, the last time Neo was in a show match for cash, that didn't turn out very well, actually. Throwback to the 2017 clash for cash, repeat of the major finals. Ah. Between them and Astralis, $250,000 on the line. Didn't go too well for them. That was back when the Virtus Pro decline had begun. Yeah, one of the one of the points in history where we talk about this longest standing roster together wasn't all positive. Mm -hmm. People asked for change and it, it never came, but then they would have a, a kind of a big land performance and you'd be like, oh, 
be quiet. No, but they don't need to make changes. It's funny because it, that's exactly what happened. Like a month and a half after that was Epicenter, and they came second to that versus SK. And one, that was just incredible best of five series. Would highly recommend anyone to go back and watch that. That's one of the last uh, great series from both SK and the Scroll. Alito taken down Neo to find the easy entry as he moves in, and it's Forrest to come through with another. Well, it's entries all over the place, and none of them are looking like the CTs are getting those kills. Giving them the business, and Gruss at least responds with a headshot on the 5-7. Smoke won't give him much safety. Now they're all heating. No success so far on these lower buys. Was well, definitely a big driving force in their Dust 2 performance. Wonder whether if they lose this game, they might even ban Mirage moving forward, because right now Neo are on a bit of a tear. They are keeping them at least somewhat humbled. You know, I talked about that economy earlier on. You don't see it, it running away into the, the sort of tens of thousands of dollars in reserve for a lot of these Team Neo players. So all it takes is one round win, and it could really reset things and allow them a bit more space on the CT side, if they even get it. Forrest, nice entry, and a double at that. Whoa. Well, Bamon at least finds himself one, but in the meanwhile lost most of his HP. In the process, Olaf Meister's been put to sleep. Eyes on bomb. Yeah, well, find themselves their first round. So, good stuff for them, Bamon able to get himself some frags. That's exactly what was a major contributing factor on Dust 2 as well. Uh, to come through with a few turnarounds on the CT side especially. Round started three on five as well. Mm -hmm. Forrest gets a double entry and... You know, Palmo's getting shot in the back. So, big surprise that he was able to, to get away with a, a three-piece in that round as well. That's a hero moment, but I don't think one that will be given to him too many times over. Mm. I um, just went back and checked as well. Actually, hold the point. Forrest on the AWP, always something that's fun to see. Yeah, Played Forrest around with this at world. times. Yeah, well, look. He's embracing it. Started off his career as an opper in the making. Of course, always more legendary for his rifles. Flashbang into the bomb side it goes. Palm one's been traded out. Forrest reveals his AWP as well. Wants to keep it going. Trades all over the place, but the bomb's been dropped next to the van. It's all of my lurk that comes through, finds fruition, and Alito left in a little bit of a lonely position. He is going to be coming back up the apartments quickly. The bomb planted, not planted, dropped in a position favoring him, but Olaf has made his way up short and finds a clean kill. Good stuff there from Olaf. The the lurk activation and then getting into the bomb site quick enough as well so that they could have this two on one on the bomb site. Alito wanted to try and get the, the upper hand, but too quick to to rendezvous with his squad. Hey yeah, that forest all having that impact. Double window smoke, so a little miscommunication there from Team Neo, but it is certainly smoked off. <laughs> hey, if one of the, them had been mollied. You know? Yeah, that is true. It's a guarantee. That's what it is. And double Molotov now for ladder room as well. Okay, guys. Uh, I don't think Molly's can be cancelled out by Molly's. But Freiburg starts to make his way forward. Alito's found out and brought down Dennis now. Still back in CT. Hoping to get through with some P250 kills. Mr. Pistol still right here. He's not going anywhere. Nice sharp shooting here from Tudson as well, clearing things out towards CT. Good damage from Palm, but not enough to finish off the job. A sixth round here for Team Neo. Yeah, a lot of uh, mind melding in that round from Team Neo. Double smokes, double Molotovs. No double peaks though, so enough space that they could always get trades. I want something a little aggro, a little different here from Team Heat, and playing the, the defensive game has not been working into their favor, because Neo are the ones always aggressing into them. Flash is great in connector, and the follow-up from oh, Freiburg. Oh. Neo, that combo is just too damn deadly in the mid-split, and now it just leaves this B bomb site full vulnerable. Dennis, the last remaining. 
Man, Neo just looks spectacular right there. Of course, reminded of everyone, Neo was actually active until very recently on the Honoris squad. He played on that with Taz for about two years or so before being shifted over to a substitute position. Or maybe he opted for that himself, more likely than not. But you know, he's been he's been he's been messing about in tier two as well. It's not like he's been completely AWOL. Yeah, it hasn't taken a step away. I think there there can be points in, in a career where you think, oh yeah, you know, put the better days behind you and just live your life. But yeah, you've still, still got the competitive drive. Deep flashbang in. Gross is good for one. Make it two. That MP9 push was spectacular. Great synergy play, and something that definitely has been missing. We haven't seen too many opportunities for Heat and CT sides to get activated, usually in a pretty tight bind when they enter that defensive end in the second half. You get a guarantee of all 15 rounds seen from a Heat and CT, so real momentum builders can be made. Ooh, man, he is not missing a beat. Oh, heard the drop down as well. It's been spotted out. Quick re peek backwards. Dennis wants to get busy over in this B bomb site. Rotations come through as well from Palm, so he can cover off his side if Palm repositions and is ready for it. But Dennis is coming through, making it look easy. Finally, Olaf will shut down his former teammate, but it's too little too late. Super big move there from Dennis. Just, even though it's only a couple of kills, making sure that he didn't miss any of those opportunities played it positionally so well again you know we we looked at that that dust two hold that he had on the famas just good footwork and good space uh, understanding what what kind of space he can take himself neither player looking at him times were fantastic this is uh a little bit of what i was talking about earlier these aggro moves from team neo have just been so deadly Fast play through middle, it's double headshots, and, I mean, Team Heaton, you can't really keep contesting this position. Oh, Freiburg. Look, all Heaton. these procedures, look at these flashes that Neo's <laughs> throwing for him. This is, this is just a group of players who are used to being able to call whatever they need in a, in a mid-round. So they're always going to be vocal, and those kinds of players excel in pugs and in, you know, these scrappier games like this one. Oh, Palm pulls out the deagle, will find the frag, Neo to be taken down, a one-on-three where his really only objective can be to save, and as his shot is going to ring out, reveals his position, they are closing in on him, opportunities to save are going to be dwindling molotov at his feet maintains position and now all of my says in hot pursuit peeks out one shot's all he needs just hunts him with the orb <laughs> just no armor hunting him with the awp i mean you can respect it that's for sure but that's kind of kind of crazy it's also weird as well you know freiburg definitely a, a player that most people would recognize for more supportive roles on on, on the teams he's been on especially uh, as of late um, but even in the, the sort of later stages of, of NIP, definitely felt like he was more supportive element. Neo made that transition himself as well, you know, after being a, a hard carry player in 1.6 when he came to Global Offensive, took, bent the knee and was uh, definitely one of the, the more impact dominated players as opposed to just dominating the scoreboards. Oh. Broke off his cross, but as he's trying to move right around it with the MP9, the spray is not connecting. The CT side is looking a little bit desperate, but that desperation is leading into a run and gun thing of beauty. I don't know about you, but I hated everything about that. I, I don't know how he gets it. from. I don't know how he gets so far in the bomb site without them doing anything about it. Hudson's now all that remains here from Team Neo. Dennis Deagle around the corner. It's not an easy task. It's the Heaton instead, sorry. That will decapitate on the swing. Dennis was there to trade his contingency. <laughs> How does Gruss get out so damn far? Can you just imagine how disgusting it must feel to Heaton? 
who's from CS 1.6 and 1.3, where infamously, even if you're crouched and moving, the spray accuracy would just get demolished. Yep. Wait, you can do what in this game? I yeah. I'm not playing this, this next time. <laughs> Of Meister, meanwhile, stride down mid, lots of damage dealt, and a kill found. That's what I wanted to see out of Team Heat and some little aggressive moves. We've seen Gruss with a uh, flashing ramp, you know, getting mm. aggro as well before they even break in the bomb site. This time, underpass was where he found a victim. So he's been the one that's mixing things up so far for Heaton to get a bit more breathing room. Oh, Bomb might be about to find himself a quick frag over here. The smoke will be dissipating, but Neo repositions. Waiting to see if he can spot a player out, and indeed he does. Palm was just keeping an eye out on the self-boost lantern block possibilities, and Neo, well, he's fragging. And he's going to pop off, and Dennis, okay, has turned this round on its head. Neo to try and clutch things back. A third kill found, but Heaton's position could be one of the unknowns of this round. Could have been aggro, could have been anywhere. Now Neo has to put it all together. It does spot him on the cross. Bomb as well on his back and planting back triple. Nade could do some decent damage and Heaton trying to force him into position, but he got a cross. Oh. One on one, Heaton will deliver. I can't believe he's able to pull that one together. Neo took so many chances in that, had the advantage to play and still peaked Heaton with full confidence <laughs> afterwards. Heaton, legend in his own right, and keeping his legendary team in this one. Definitely looking better and better as the day goes on, that is for sure. I thought this was going to end up on a Neo Classic. Yeah. He'll get three kills, get a post plant, get a 1v1 against one of the old greats. Not to be, Heaton says it's not so easy. Just putting out a reminder out there, it's Eden. All the way through, but Freiburg's down. And it's going to be... Very much a task for the Deagles and whether they can find anything. Neo's scout unlikely to really connect with much over here. But as I say, that Olaf's moved through a Molotov, Tudson's moved through a hole in the ramp, and both of them oh are coming God. through with deagles all over the place. Welcome back, Olaf Meister. Even if Gross will shut him down, this has suddenly turned into a very doable round one where I'd even favor the T side. There is no control over this A-bomb site for Team Heaton. None whatsoever, and they have gambled incorrectly. Pushing into apartments, bomb will be planted for free. Won't push much further either, so it's all on Team Heaton about whether they want to go for this retake or not. Seems like Gross has something to, to play for here. Palm's the one with the kit, but low HP and has the AWP he wants to save. Ooh. Well, both very low at this stage. Now, Forrest will be able to find the skill. Palm's late to the party, but reveals his position. And with this, they are going to be... Looking to set out and maybe try and get the hunt in. Of course, they're checking out CT instead. Okay. That seems like an impossibility. Of course. We always no see a little bit more. Yeah. They can also save up their weapons as well. Tutson can keep that op alive and forest. Who doesn't like an M4A1S on, on T side? Yeah, man. These Deegs came alive, though, in this round. Olaf getting the kill on short. The, the follow-up and connector with Tudson as well, getting the entry on A. Three kills in, what was, five, six seconds. And all of a sudden, the defense crumbled there for Team Heaton. Fast control. And Neo's up and connector already. Oh, my goodness. So speedy. Olaf as well. Doesn't actually spot out the players pushing into the B apartment, so there's a possibility he will be flanked, especially if he's got his knife out. But now, once again, due diligence performed. Olaf is ready! Oh, baby. B bomb site's open. Tag as well from Tudson's AWP and finishing off business on Tahitian on the A bomb site. They don't know which way it, they have to really be concerned about. Alita was trying to flank top mid, but there's nobody home. Lost both the bomb sites. Little wiggle of frustration, but 
This is how the cookie crumbles. A 10th round secured here for Team Neo. I mean, you just see the great heads up here from Olaf. <laughs> Man, he's so good. Back to back double kills. Guy loves it. I miss 2015 Fnatic when I see Olaf play like this. I think I think that here's the, here's the thing about this this Legends tournament is that you know we have to talk about the legacy we have to talk about these these players that have obviously def helped define our game but you know tonally I'm not really all about it I think a lot of these guys still have years to give I think they could still uh, compete you know do do what I think even the the likes of Neo Taz the you know uh, even Snacks Biali you know, these guys have been sort of moving down the rungs so so to speak to, to help bring up the the next generation and you know, teach them the the and bring that experience to, to rosters that it wouldn't have been able to once upon a time. I think well, there are still arguments to be made for, for players to to still do that. I mean look, five bucks falling down right here, so we're gonna take a pause on that and put a pin in it, but we'll definitely come back to it at the end of this half at the very least. Tudson is holding on to Oh, the angle where Hayden's just gonna peek into him, fall down immediately. Tudson on the B bomb side, he's gone and got a second. Why not? Why stop at just the one? Not a try, I can't believe this. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Alito's sad. He wanted to face that smoke all <laughs> off my side, the same idea. Well, wow. two players in middle spotted out by all of my side as well, so. Oh, yes, it is just domination. Team Neo up 11 to 4, despite a few nice shining lights from Hayden and company. Just not enough. But just to go back on your point. I think, Michael, that it's more about the legends are just the captains. And I think most of these captains, you know, have given pretty much their all to the game and are pretty clearly, you know, on the out in comparison. Obviously, the players that they choose to pick up could be something closer towards what uh, Pasha did. It could be something closer towards what, you know, mm -hmm. Hedon's doing with very young people. Oh, maybe Neil's like, well, can I just make my own all-star team, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> Fantasy points through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Looks like they wanted to set up for a double short, but Neo is starting to consider a B-sided push, and so will the rotates come in. Hudson is here at the market window, but no flashes, no nothing here for them to be deterred, and so Heaton are going to struggle to get the entries. He trades right back and forth. A three on two, just like that. Bomb dropped on the bomb site. Ooh, nice shot under Tudson at the very least, but Olaf and Freiburg are still alive and kicking. Uh, is, oh, they cheat right past. Oh. Freiburg's going to be taken down. Olaf Meister not notice Alito. The call's been given out. He's now realized there is a CT on this bomb site coming in from the side. Bullets running out. Alito will still get it done. A triple necessary, but one that'll net them the fifth round. That, that 2v3 is perfectly played there from Gruss and Alito. Just Gruss taking all the attention by being super loud-footed, transitioning, pre-firing angles, and Alito's getting shots in the side of the head on those two remaining players. Like, when it got to that 2v2, they couldn't have played it more perfectly between them. And those are those are two players that maybe we d wouldn't talk about having chemistry like we do with some of these other teams. You know, they're, they're brought in to, to help represent Team Heaton as younger guns, and it's so great. Clean wow. up round here in the second as the, the four slash half by Tutson keeping some extra money, of course. Trying to get his hands on that AWP as soon as possible into the second half, but he a nice little cleanup crew in mid. Forrest and Neil hoping to be able to pull off some beagle magic. Oh, careful, Forrest! Hi. Bit unfortunate. <laughs> Did you uh, see the very interesting post on uh, Twitter about how player models um, have different hitboxes depending on what yeah, they Yeah, a little do. strange. Yeah. Uh, definitely one of those things that, you know, you just assume yeah. is uniform and is not. But as I discovered a long time ago, I take Indeed. full credit for this, by the way. I, Knives I... didn't all pull out at the same speed. You told me this one before, to... yes, I think. Uh, yeah. I yeah. used to pull out f longer, take longer. That's like pay to lose, oh. I don't understand. Deep grenades wow. and deep USBs. Dennis might be on the other side, but 
Let's not forget there's some good old pistol players over here as well. For us, always one of the legends of that in his own right. And with Freiberg having an AK-47, Hayden being tagged up as much as he is. Five HP is what's left, but a one tap. Yes, please. Some more of that if you would. But Freiberg's around the corner. Plays it perfectly. This is the only strat that could have gone wrong. <laughs> they went for a B stack and they all come up short. They had the nades as well as protocol. This was the stack that they, they'd hoped would, would find as, as much damage as this. And, it, I mean, it works out. Great little Freiburg pre-fire as well on the final peak. Full eco'd. That's, that's mental. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Russ finds one, Freiburg's down, Tutson joins him in the afterlife, and with this Neo squad only has three left. If Olaf Meister can find one, maybe this is an opportunity to be found here, but as you can see, Heaton and company are now just going to have to bring the bomb back over. Now in that time there is some space, Neo's got a flash in two or two ready to try and get his teammate onto the bomb site itself and as he peeks out he's got another frag bomb yet to be relayed over to the site itself but it's palm who's connected onto the player how has neo gotten there what the hell is going on neo on for a potential ace molotov is gonna be able to flush them out grenades a bit slow otherwise could have been some real heavy damage smoke down to cover off his tracks as he moves in onto the bomb site he's going to be pre-firing every angle just two players there for his ace in the round, and with this, as he will pick up a kit as well, a secondary grenade to be chucked out over at Firebox. He's going to be double peaked and swung out onto. Eden and Lido able to coordinate, but man, Neo was just a rabbit in that round. Yeah, he was everywhere. I mean, making sure to be quick footed between positions and caught players out because of it. So, super feasible, but. When it came to the, the post plant, threw so many, so many nades over at the bomb site and hoped to catch somebody out that was still so concerned that someone would be in there. Like you said, all it took was Heaton and Alito to coordinate in that final peak to secure the round. Not out of breath yet. Something, something, 11 4 halves. <laughs> Probably the most overused quote in all of commentary. I swear, these days that one's pretty yeah. bad. It's worse than yeah. the big green gun somehow. And it I is. never thought I'd say that. Everybody has an orb skin. It's not green. Yeah. Well. Dennis finds Tudson and Neo's just hoping to connect with some spam. It is still a question about what Forrest can do as he's yet to reveal himself. But a couple of quick ego oh. kills. And it is just pistols galore. Dennis is reminding his teammates that, guys, I am telling you. You need to stay away from those pistols. I know. Pistols are OP. Like, I played with Olaf, okay? I played against Neo and Forrest when they were holding the pistols. You need to stop peeking them. <laughs> 30 seconds. CT's not splitting up. Playing off of each other, but Olaf will take the first peek forward. Neo still in a position to trade out once the information's been gained. His HP was good, and they knew that Dennis was low. 13 to 7. Now, two equal rounds that they won. Yeah, a little overzealous, but they had a plan. You know, they wanted to flash over the, the jungle and stair smoke and get there in, into the faces of these players, sort of transitioning and rotating into the bomb slide, hoping that they'd be full blind. And some of them were. They still got their kills while blind, though. Big risk and another pistol round win. Uh, not exactly what you would have expected. Now Olaf getting a bit physical with them as they try to muster a Hi. pistol by themselves. It's not gone swimmingly. Olaf is taking control of the underpass. Make sure that that B bomb site cannot be threatened. And now they have to be funneled another direction. They've actually swapped places in the smoke as well. <laughs> Cross slipping by, but not able to find anything from it yet. Well, finally able to find the kill onto all of Meister, but after the damage has been dealt, not checking under Palace, so he misses any opportunity to turn that into a two on two. Dennis is left alone, free AK on the ground. Why, yes, please. 
They're not getting the same saving graces. The same weapon that they had to work with on Dust 2, won by four spies, has been the same weapon that has been used against them on Mirage. This third group stage game not going much better than, than the rest. Certainly a tighter game than, than we saw in their first Mirage outing. You see the confidence that Team Neo are playing with. You see Olaf Meister getting assertive and just demanding space, demanding someone peek him. They're going to give it to him. They're going to give him that peek. Olaf just wants to keep on going. He's having a good time. You can see that on the server. You better run. You dare approach me? Get this man an anime intro. <laughs> Hayden's gone. Good flashbang, and Olaf Meister just moved in for a few more pot shots out. Dennis, of course it's Dennis. Dude, he's yeah, actually, like, no joke. Forget the show match, forget everything. Dennis still looks insane with the Eagles and the Pistols in general. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with that. So 19 kills. I swear, like, 12 of those are with Pistols. <laughs> Well, Alita finds no success, and Team Neo will move into match point. Will be their first win in the group stage, their, their only game today. And looking good, you know, no one's really lagging behind. Kind of talked about, I think, Freiburg even being set up for, for opener kills and, and that T side by Neo. You know, captain, but also supportive element. Oh, got oh a feel for goodness. Heaton. Dennis pre-fired, Heaton went to take his spot, and he's the <laughs> one who gets ulped. Well, maybe Alito's able to find himself a bit of room over here as he's caught out a player with the gun away. It's Freiburg to fall. All of my sis inside the smoke, though. Alito, you've fallen by the wayside to this on the other side of the coin. Maybe this is going to be another opportunity over here, but Neil's been located and brought down as well. Over in mid, Forrest Demise leaves Olaf alone. Olaf reveals his position, but he can't quite put himself in a spot to clutch it out. Yeah, best rounds have really been when Heaton have been able to get that, that opening kill and just immediately take space. You see how uncomfortable that can be, even from players that are as experienced as, as what we have in the server. It's it's all about space creation and creating uh, safe areas as well for for your team to progress. Where they have struggled, I think, to take some of those those fights. You know, even in some of the opening duels they win in mid, they get overwhelmed by more and more CTs taking up uh, the the position. So, see if they can find some more key opener kills once again. Flash from Triple that should give Gruss some information, but it could have come from anywhere. It knows that Triple is the most likely position, and Freiburg's head spotted. Oh. Gross has been tickled in the meanwhile. It's all of Meister getting busy all over the place. Great damage wow. dealt. Gross will find himself one at the very least, making it two. He's been a core part of the strategy for Hayden and company. And right now, he's the one who's about to give them their ninth round. Dennis puts a cherry on that cake, but it's been baked by Gross. Really nice peek there from Gross when, when it came to sitting on the bomb site, threw a flash over default, and then jumps up. That's sweet. I mean, unavoidable, unavoidable flash, but most people wouldn't be comfortable taking any sort of a jump for a peek. Cross said his own plans, his own moves. Okay, now it's an A side stack with the pistols, and fortunately for Team Eden, they have avoided it in large part. I see large part because they might have run into Neo. Instead, Neo ends up falling. Palm is able to take him down, and the CT side pistols will probably not be stealing away another round. Come on, say it, say it with your chest. Okay, they're not gonna steal away another round. Yeah, there you go. I did get scared at the end of it. <laughs> okay, it's not happening this time. Okay, the boogeyman is away. Could still do some damage, it could still retrieve some weapons, but no, almost certainly not a round win. Touch in one kill, and that will be it. 
USPs do nothing. Not this time. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times. I don't know who we blame, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's someone new. <laughs> no AWE out for Neo and company this time over. No Molotovs either. This is very much going to be flashes into peaks and trying to take those duels in. Well, what else would you rather have? Quick little boost up as well. Neo's going to be able to catch out a player. Hayden's finding out about everything he doesn't want to know about. Ooh, good repeats from Palm as well. But Neo and all of my are still keeping their hopes alive. Now, Gross is a second player in Palace will not be entirely expected. Alito has taken up some air time. As Gross was forced to reveal himself as they tried to isolate all of my Sir Freiburg will be able to spot him out and take him down. Alito left in a one on two. I think he might have even spotted the foot out of that CT model. And as he does have the bomb, they aren't going to be checking. There's Freiburg brought down. Neo went around the world. He was seeing if he could cut them off a rotate towards the B bomb site. They completely lost track of Alito's presence. Now taking a reposition in from ramp, and Alito will try and play it cool, play it safe. Neo. Won't have eyes on this position. It's a hard position to clear as well because Alito had so much room. And now he's realized that the A bomb site could be a threat as well. At this point, Neo has made his way over. He's not making any secrets about his positioning. As he makes his way back up, Alito will just get him for free. Neo was so concerned about that Palace position. Of course, bomb was planted for ramp, triple, for Palace, for pretty much everywhere. Pretty impossible clutch to play if you're Neo and didn't have a kit either so even more time against him some signs of life though and some some real high impact that we're finding out of players like Palm, Gruss, Dennis, Alito as well in, in, in these clutch moments I think Heaton is his building blocks that he's built uh, he's put around him for this this Legends group stage has been able to deliver much more than than any of the other maps and has really been reinvigorated by this latter end of the second half not going to go down without a fight. Neo, I think, were firm favorites. Most people would have painted it even before we saw the, how this match was going to play out. But some real surprises. I think it has been fair to say. Palm doing a great work on that, that AWP and finding two more in this round as well. He's really found his footing as the day has gone on. First map was a bit more rough from him. Second map had some flashes of light. And now third map is really looking up. Could say the same about Dennis as well in many ways, but have to shout out and give some love out to the fact that all of my says 29 and 19. Yeah. Right now. Even in rounds where Gross is finding openers or Palm's finding openers, we, we sort of look at those entries and then we see in the kill feed, Olaf getting two kills. You know, it's like almost instantaneous. They get an advantage, Olaf gets two kills somehow. Been keeping them competitive in this in this second half for sure. <laughs> Definitely very reminiscent of the old days in that regards. Very few players in Counter Strike history who you can, well, especially in CSGO history, in my opinion, who you could just ask, hey, can you make a play and find a kill this round? It was slightly exaggerated, but that was always a legend of all of my stuff. Smoke down, Neo with one, Olaf comes through with the second, and the T side offense is falling apart. Forrest realizes that there's a drop down and might not have recognized the fact that Gross is all the way over in van. Quick repositioning as Gross is going to be spotted as well, making his way over. Forrest good for one spray on the second, but Gross keeping it alive as always. It will be Dennis paired up with him. To come through for this late round positioning, bomb can be planted, Dennis can try and protect it. No one moving out just yet. Quick pre-fire into the market window as well. Not connecting. CTs. With Tutson on the op, this becomes a lot more trickier to try and retake. And as he will be making his way forward, it is Dennis. You have to keep all eyes on. Comes through, gets the first duel for all of us to take it up. Gross has bought time for Dennis to make sure it's an isolated duel. And with that, it's 13 for Heaton's side. Clutch rounds on clutch rounds. When we look back at the, the Mirage we saw earlier in the day against the, the Team Pasha, they were losing so many of these after plants, these, these bomb sites that were taken in 2v2s. And 
now transitioning, you know, we're talking about them warming up throughout the day. Now we move into this game and they're put in another situation like it and they convert. So good to see. And Heaton are certainly coming back into this game. A, only a couple round discrepancy now and it's a full commitment here from Team Neo. With a little bit in reserve, but they're finding all the kills they need to. Destined to go all 30 seems to be. Uh, a little awkward here for Neo at range, and Dennis will finally put an end to it, but not before Palm dies. 30th round calls to us, and Team Neo should be able to facilitate a buy themselves. So many rounds lost continuously. They got themselves into this, this winning position quite some time ago. But haven't been able to draw it over the line. Oh. Small jitters, but it's alright. You've got to be feeling pretty jittery if you're on the Neo side. Don't want to have the two goats of 1.6 losing up against, uh, you know, one of the older goat candidates of 1.6 as well, I'm sure. They've got a fair bit of pride in them for their time in the previous very end of the game. How dare you. We overtook you. <laughs> I'm sure some of that is a factor in the back of their heads, even if they are mostly playing out for fun. Yeah, to connect through. Good for the one. Tudson can uh -oh. smoke off this Molotov, but he doesn't realize that Molly's a bit deeper. The source is where you have to smoke it off. Now, Neo's positioning is not going to go by and be checked, and there's only one player who can pick up the bomb. Guess what? Neo can actually find him and take him down. The timing is perfect, and he's dropped the bomb, knows exactly what he's done, and Olaf is taking time to try and traverse into connector. Grass catches him off for us over in mid, comes through with two, and Team Hayden might get close. Might get to the full 30, but they're not going to cross this finish line unless Bomb can be the one to tear it apart. One on three, but back to two. Bomb is not guarded by anyone. No CTs around, and he is surely not going to be expecting Neo to come through from behind. Take him down. 16th secured, but very much all 30, very much the last.